everyone, welcome to KOLP and Weird Daily Reactions to All Things K-Pop, okay? I am here to talk about my experience at the Sunmi concert in LA. It was um, on Thursday, March 7th, it, a Thursday, and that was just, I mean, that really shook up my world. I said, why? Um, why? <laughs> like, what's going on? I take off work the next day. It's fine, you know, whatever. Anything for Sunmi, okay? And so um, I just want to start off by saying what an amazing concert. I love Sunmi so much. It was so much fun. And I just want to tell you guys about everything. First off, I want to start off with saying, isn't my hair looking more and more like Hazel's every day? <laughs> I keep getting it shorter. Guys, I keep getting it shorter and shorter and shorter, shorter, shorter until I look like her because I desperately want to. But I think I've achieved a good look. So <laughs> I'm going to stop getting it. Anyway, so yes, Sunmi in L.A. Let's begin. Why don't we? So, I took off work on Friday and I went to work that Thursday, which, honestly, mistake number one. Guys, don't go to work, okay? It's not worth it. It's not. I know, like, you get money or whatever, but, like, don't. Just, like, focus on the concert so you don't end up late, okay? Because I got there late, classic. I mean, I even left work a little bit early and I still got there late, but that was my fault. I had lied down before and I was like, I need a little nap. Don't nap. Don't go to work. Don't do, just, like, just take the whole day off. Okay. I was at the Fonda Theater, and that theater is definitely on the older side, and I had some issues with the venue because, so, like I said, they let the VIP people in. I was one of the last ones. There's, like, you know, everyone's crowded up. Then they let in, like, the other general admission people who I who weren't VIP, weren't going to meet her, but were, like, going to be close, which was interesting because I know that whenever they do that, at least with day six, I can say this, um, even with Monster X as well, like, um, at different venues, there's a separate, like, area for people that were, like, VIP and the general admission. So it's like, we're a little bit closer, there's some space, it's not, like, super, super crowded. And it's a smart idea, honestly, because, like I said, not super crowded. But with this, because we were all piled into that, you know, general admission area, it was, like, packed. Like, packed. And I was, like, trying to stand in the back because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get to the front and just, like, just, you know, stand there and see. But people were obviously, like, standing in front of me. They were trying to find, you know, some place to be. Some of these tall-ass motherfuckers have no fucking morals and were standing there in the middle like there weren't people behind them. Okay, no fucking morals at all. And so it was it was a, t it was a tough GA paid sort of situation, okay? It, it, it was tough. And it reminded me why I don't do GA, unless they have it split up like they do at the Microsoft Theater. I'm standing there, and because people are standing in front of me, like in front of my view, like, I'm, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I almost kicked two girls. I almost kicked them in the back of their kneecaps. I told them to move out of my fucking way. But then I was like, Dara, this is a G, and like, you know what it's like, like it's GA, like it's not their fault, like they're just trying to see as well, like, this is the way it is, you like move back and forth, like you can't just kick people because you're mad, <laughs> like, that's not how you act, okay? I'm standing there in front of the, like, uh, I guess DJ booth, you could say, that's where they're playing all the music and stuff, and I'm just leaning up against the um, railing that's, you know, got them blocked off. And so I'm like, and I take a picture and I let everyone, and I wasn't even sure if I was going to do this video because I was so far in the back. Yeah. Oh, so packed in there. Everyone has their phones. So everyone's phone is up because they're trying to, you know, not get the person in front of them who's not trying to get the person in front of them. So it's like a constant vicious cycle, just higher, higher, higher until you get to me and my short ass. And so I had to do what I did for NCT 127, arms up all the way. I was like, neck, okay, just neck up on my tiptoes a little bit, you know, just working as hard as I could. But if she was on the ground, and she does a lot of ground choreography, I couldn't see her. And sometimes I have to look through other people's phones, which is like my number one pet peeve. I fucking hate looking through people's phones to see a show that I paid for, okay? Really, it just oh, grinds my gears. The show starts off with um, 24 hours, okay, which, fantastic. Like, I, like, yes. I would have started the show the same way, okay? You've done something brilliant. <laughs>
really think about Sunny is, is that she has concert versions of her songs. I am like, I am not kidding. When, um, oh my gosh, what did she do? Oh, there was this one song that she did this intro to that I was like, it was slowed down. I think it was Siren. I think she did like a slowed down version of Siren. And I felt like my body just kind of like descend. I was like, what's gravity? You know what I mean? Like, I was like I'm being taken up to space right now. Like, I could not believe my ears. And then she got into like the more the sped up version of it. She also did a fucking EDM concert version of Burn. And I screamed because I tweeted this out. I was like, I would have done the same thing for the concert. I would have came up with an EDM version of Burn because Burn has like, it is like an EDM track, but it's sort of muted, honestly. If you listen to it and you get to like the chorus, she's like, you know, Burn Baby. Oh, that was off too. Burn Baby, Burn. And then it goes, boom, bing, bing. Be 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 like it's like it's 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 like it's it's kind of quiet. It's a little muted, right? When you're listening to it, but you're like, oh, this is I'm in the club. You know what I mean? Like I'm in the club, <laughs> moving along to the beat, right? So when she did the EDM and she filled out the the parts of that uh, the end of the chorus, I was like, I was jumping, I was fist bumping. <laughs> Do I, I'm not like a, like, I like EDM music, don't get me wrong, but I'm not a really like, you know, <laughs> one of those people. But I was in the back, fist bumping my ass off, and no one else, and none of you fucking frauds, none of you other frauds or moralist tall hoes was doing the same with me. I was so pissed off. This is what I realized <laughs> about the people that were at the Sunday concert. Like I said, she has a lot of singles, okay? Like, that's sort of what she's been doing, just dropping singles, giving us choreo and videos for that. She only has the two albums, Full Moon and um, uh, Warning, which we just got, like, you know, not too long ago. So, and she just dropped singles in between. So, it seemed to me that people at this concert did not know anything beyond her singles. But because she has so many singles, you know, you're kind of like, oh, I can sort of get away with this. And I was trying to figure out why nobody knew the, the tracks off of the Full Moon album. She did Who Am I, which, <laughs> right? I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I was like, yeah, give me Who Am I. And I literally said, okay, okay. And um, as I'm like getting hyped and listening to that amazing track, I'm like also kind of looking around like, is you been going to pop out at any point? Like, can my dreams come true? Of course they didn't, but whatever. But um, so she did Who Am I, and nobody knows that track. She did burn. Nobody was doing, nobody was really dancing along. Nobody really realized the significance of doing the fucking like EDM concert or extended version. Nobody really knew her other tracks outside of her singles. And um, I was pissed. I was like, I just couldn't believe what I was looking at. Like everyone had their phones up for Gashina, of course. Um, you know, people were ready for Siren and Heroin and um, 
I think full moon, well, full moon, yeah, in 24 hours, less, less hype than, you know, Gashina and stuff. But I was just like, I, like, it, to me, I, I was just like, you guys didn't even, like, you're not, like, do you know her music? Like, I could not believe I was the only one fist bumping to fucking burn. Like, I was losing my, fu like, I guess I'm not gonna lie, I was losing my shit in the back. I had on, like, some ripped jeans, I had on my Dom Pam top, and I was just like, like, I was having a great time, and nobody around me was having as much fun. And nobody was singing along, because when Burn Baby Burn came, nobody was singing along. And I was like, I just, I couldn't even, like, I, I, I was astounded. But, you know, I'm not trying to be a snob or anything, but at the same time, like, if you're going to go to a person's concert, you should probably listen to their entire repertoire before you go. Also, why would you go if you only knew their singles? So I just, it, it really threw me for one. covers of some tracks as well because like I said she doesn't have too many of her own songs um she could have done if she had done Frozen in Time I feel like you know like that would have really like we could have had a really nice sexy choreo like I've had this I've had this vision since 2014 okay she could have done a really nice sexy choreo she had her backup dancers like we could have really done something with Frozen in Time and um oh and in full moon she rapped Lena's part I love I, I had to I had to fall <laughs> when I heard that when she started doing Lena's part I was like oh this is the end this is it bitches <laughs> you're not looking this is it like I couldn't believe my ears <laughs> Like I said, she did covers. Um, she also was like, you know, this is one of my favorite songs. Um, it's been in my playlist. It's going to be in my playlist forever. It's giving you that 80s, 70s vibe. And again, I said, hey, um, you been? You been? <laughs> you out there? You're going to pop out somewhere? And, and then I was like, oh my gosh, is she going to do a you been track? But no, she um, she did another song. She did some other song that she really liked. But, um, you know, whatever. I have hopes. Uh, one day, I, I hope they come true. <laughs>
She also did noir, which was really great. And she had some really great screen effects, which I think was also a really brilliant idea. You know, some people like to play with their lights, but she had some really great um, screen effects. So, like, she would be singing, and then the screen behind her would be, like, multiples of her like of a shadow and it might be like a couple seconds behind her so it gave a really cool effect for noir she had um you know that whole instagram filter um like instagram picture thing and then like pictures of her from the um promo and stuff so it was really nice setup um for the screens and everything and she, like, she did noir but she didn't do any choreo to it so i think she's waiting for you bitches <laughs> She's waiting for y'all hoes to come up with her choreo. Like she said, if y'all want to see that dance, you're going to have to do it yourself, okay? Ugh, I still think about how I want to be a part of this competition so bad. Like, I was starting to, like, make up moves in the background. Like, I, guys, I was having my own fucking concert, okay? I don't, like, it was me and Sun Me. <laughs> like, who was everyone else there? Who cares if I get here? It is me and my girl Sun Me, and I'm dancing and making my own choreography in the back. <laughs> She, you know, she did her little talking comments and stuff, and it was really cute. We took a picture, then we lined up to go and meet her, and thankfully, the lineup happened pretty fast. Maybe because it wasn't too much, too many of us, and um, you know, because it's in the smaller theater and everything. So we were lining up, and we got to see her, and like they were, they literally were like, "Go, go, go, go!" I was like, "Bitch!" And like the fuck? Okay, I started to run, like just like being an asshole, like, "Yeah, I'm a jar." Since y'all out here yelling, I was like, y'all need to calm the fuck down, okay? Like, people know what this is. Like, it's okay. Just relax. We get it. And so we, you know, got in the line, and we're jogging through, okay? And you get to her, and you get to double high-five her and just, like, say something and be nice or whatever. And I came up to her, and I was trying to think of what to say, but because I saw how fast it was happening in front of me, I was like, oh, okay, I just got to say something like, you're amazing or I love you. So I was like, oh, my gosh, Sunmi, you're so amazing. In my typical high voice, what happens when I get nervous? And I, like, like, I don't, like, she's just so stunning. Like, I'm, like... Like, I'm, I'm like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. <laughs> like, she is so stunning. And she seems so, 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 so sweet and so nice. And, like, you know, just trying to, like, listen to everyone and say hi. But, you know, because there's so many people and they're rushing us. And that was that. And, like, I literally, like, you know, high-fived her and then I walked out of there. Like, it was, like, it was stupid fast, okay? They ran right through us. And so, yeah. And so, let's see. I got there maybe, like, just after six and then the show and, and I walked out of there like around 8 45 so it's kind of a short show went by quickly but I had a great time okay <laughs> I had so much fun um I hope everyone else did too um except for you moralist tall ass host who was standing in the middle but um yeah it was a really good show I mean she did all of the hits she had her covers it was fantastic I had really an amazing time and I cannot wait to see her again she said album dropping June July August <laughs> she's like June July August I was like so summer okay we don't need the specifics now we have a season that's all we need so new album coming soon which Yes! Okay, like I'm so, so ready for that. Speaking of which, she did her new song. She did two new songs? I swear, there were two new songs that she did. Yeah, it was two of them.
unless one of them was a cover. No, I'm pretty sure she did two new tracks because I didn't know either of them. And she had choreo to them, like she was doing everything. So I was like, okay, this must be for the album, you know? So I did take video of that, but I'm not sure if I'm going to add it just because I kind of wanted to, because I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, but um, just know that they're hot. Hot. That choreo, I already learned it. <laughs> I already learned it. I was doing it in the back, dancing along with her. Like, I've got the chorus down. So when that comes out, let's see if I'm correct. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yeah, I guess that was it. Yeah. It was a good show. It was a really good show. So if you guys are going to go see her, you guys are going to be, you're going to have a fantastic time. So, yes. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about this. And tell me about you guys' experience as well. I know some of you haven't seen her yet. But when you do, come back and tell me, okay? So, yes, um, I will be back with another video. Bye, guys.